Hey guys, it's Nick with Waste on Furniture, and today we're going to be putting together a Better Homes and Gardens 8 cube organizer. This is the Espresso Finish. You can pick this up at your local Walmart or you can order it off of Walmart.com. Before we start assembly, we want to make sure there's no damage to any of our parts and that we have all our hardware here. You want to make sure you've got your two A1 top and bottom panels, your two B1 side panels, your three middle shelves, you should have two C1s and an E1, and then you should have four D partition boards. should have 31 dowels in total, you're only going to need 30, one extra. Eight bolts, each have a spring washer and a washer. Nine caps, you're only going to need eight caps. You got your Allen key for your bolts. Four cam locks, four cam bolts, and then the wall mounting kit. Uh, if you've made sure that there's no damage to any of your parts, all your hardware is here, you're good to assemble. But if you do have damage to a part or are missing some hardware, please refer to our number in the bottom right hand corner of our manual and we'll get you taken care of. That's all good, you're ready to assemble. We're going to start off by taking two wooden dowels putting them in three of our departition boards, just one side. And then your last departition board is going to take four dowels, two on each side. You're then going to take four wooden dowels, and these are going to go on your C1 boards, so you should have eight in total, four in each. Then we're going to need dowels in both of our B1 side panels, four on each, eight in total. You're going to want to put these on this inner hole. There's an outer hole that's going to be for your bolts later on. So these go in the inner hole. Once those are dowels are in, you're going to take your cam bolts. You got four cam bolts. Each side panel is going to take two two cam bolts. There's an inner hole and an outer hole here in the middle of the board. You're going to want to put your cam bolts on the outer hole. It's a little bit smaller. The inner holes for dowels. You're going to make sure you screw these in straight up and down. You don't want them hanging off to the side or diagonal or else assembly is not going to go smoothly. You want to screw these down until you don't see any more of the threading. You should be able to tell whenever you get a good uh, cinch on that. So there's no threading, nice and tight. Straight up and down. You 
Okay, once those are in, four dowels, four cam locks. You're going to put these in your E1 middle board. Create some space here. Your dowels go on the inner hole of this E1 board. And then your cam locks go on the surface of the board here in the four corners. And you want to make sure that the plus and minus, there's a plus and minus on the cam lock. You want to make sure that the plus and minus are facing the pre-drilled hole on the side of the board. So the plus and minus would be facing this way. Okay. Once you got all your dowels in, your cam locks, your cam bolts are in, you're ready to attach your boards. We're going to start, start off by taking our D partition board with the four dowels. We're going to put it in this E1 board. So you should have two wooden dowels sticking out of your E1 now. You're going to take D partition board with just two dowels in it. You're going to take the side with the two empty holes and you're going to attach it to your dowels that are sticking out of your E1. Once those are together, you got this cross shape. And then you're going to take your middle panels, your C1 boards. Put those on. And then your D partition boards are going to connect with the dowels that are sticking out of your C1s. Both ends. Okay, once you have this skeleton shape here, you're ready to put your B1 side panels on. And you're going to want your Phillips head screwdriver for this. Line up all your dowels. Make sure your cam locks are facing the right way or else your cam bolt won't go in. There it goes. Okay, once that's together, you want to tighten these cam locks. I'm going to give it a three quarters turn. That'll tighten up the unit. Okay, other side panel. Make sure your cam locks facing the right way. Line up your dowels. That went. Tighten your cam locks. Those are tightened. So you're ready for your A1 top and bottom panels to go on. Line up your dowels. Okay. Other side.
line up your dowels. Once the boards are together, you're ready for your bolts. You want to put your spring washer on your bolt first. Then you want to put the regular washer on there after. And then these are going to go on your A1 or in your A1s, four on each side. Like to hand screw them down so you don't have to use the Allen key as much. A little less work. Other side. Okay, you want to take your Allen key, tighten those down all the way. Get them nice and tight. Once those are nice and tight, you want to take your eight caps, one left over, you want to put them on the ends of your bolts. Then you should be good. This unit can go both horizontal, or you can set it vertically. And then we've got the wall mounting kit for if you want to set it uh, vertically so you can safely attach it to the wall. There's your A cube, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.